My name is Abed Abu Shahade, an elected city council member of the city of Yaffa, Tel Aviv, municipality. And I'm an activist ever since I can remember myself in the most beautiful city in the world, Yaffa. As a city council member, what, I've, what I felt throughout the events of 2021 is uh, how vulnerable we are as a community, the absence of structural power to defend our community. And if I would summarize the events in one word, I felt we're powerless and we have no one to lean on other than ourselves. What's the story? The story of the Palestinian community in Inyafa is a story of a community that has to struggle for its survival on the most basic level. And what we saw in May of 2021 is uh, how state-sponsored violence, whether it's the police officers, whether it's the settlers, whether it's the judicial system, uh, form a coalition against one of the most vulnerable communities uh, in this area. And we truly understood how state-sponsored violence operates and the same tactics that we know from the West Bank, uh, Jerusalem, um, all of uh, historical Palestine uh, manifest itself also in Yaffa. The 10th of May was the most fundamental, uh, came from the most fundamental feelings of the Palestinians in Yaffa wanting to demonstrate against the Israeli behavior on the national level, okay, whether it's uh, Sheikh Jarrah, Masjid Al Aqsa, Gaza, and so on. So voices came out from the community, called for a demonstration. It started on the, in the one of the main streets, called the Hilwa Street. A um, couple of hundred, maybe 300 protesters who also started marching toward the street. And we're talking about young kids. Um, my wife was pregnant at that time. My sister came with her four-year-old daughter. It was a communal thing. And an hour in, the police start to crack down on the demonstration. They start shooting rubber bullets, unprecedented violence against protesters. You can say all uh, hell breaks loose. And things escalated very fast. From the first uh, hours of the events, uh, young men were being arrested. The police uh, shut down Yaffa. And then, like in the upcoming days of May, um, you can say it was, a, it was martial law. Like you saw a military walking down the street. The first thing we did as political activists and political uh, leadership in the community, we organized the emergency committee. And one of the things we did was uh, to go and, and to see what's happening with all the young men that were arrested. And one of the courts of uh, three young men that were charged with um, very severe charges that had nothing to do with what really happened. Uh, the police officer who's also a prosecutor goes out and talks to the judge in front of all the people in the court and says very bluntly and very honestly, the, the police, the Israeli police, will not allow anyone to attack a Jewish citizen. And I was sitting there and I was absolutely shocked. Like if he had said the Israeli police won't allow anyone to attack any Israeli citizen or any citizen, I would accept it, because that's the role of the police. But the second thing we did, which is as important, is to document. Because we came, we told the community, anyone who went through anything, just give us a call and tell us what happened for a future generation to use so they could understand what, can, what happened here at that time. We managed to have testimonies also from Yafa and also from Lid. <laughs> أز رحنا نلعب معهم بعدها هم راحوا حقوا بدهم يشربوا ماي ما رجعوا أز استناهم تحت دارهم ونزل أبوهم وكمان واحد أز بلش يضربوني مسكوني ما درت شهرب وكانوا بدهم يفوتوني على دارهم. What you see in that movie is not five percent of what really happened and unfortunately the hard testimonies. Weren't, uh, weren't filmed. We didn't document anything to prove anything to anyone. Not to Israeli society, not to the international community. We did this so that our community know what happened and what might happen and, and how state the violence works. It's for, it's for us, to us. <laughs> I was 
هلا اول يوم اجوا متنخلين من طريق بطيام كسر حوالي 15 16 سياره هناك وحرقوا لا اول ولد من دار شو اسمه الدلع شاب يعني 22 سنه عمره ونزلوا فيه ضرب يعني ضرب للموت كان اربع ايام منشام ومردام هلا البوليس يعني مش يفزع هيك صار يرمي كنابل علينا A year after I think we as a community understood what does it mean to be attacked um, and how important for us is to, to organize as a Palestinian community to protect ourselves. Because a year later, still uh, women with headscarf are afraid to go on buses. People were fired from their jobs because posts they had on uh, Facebook. It feels like you're under surveillance 24-7 to make sure that your opinions are coherent with the Israeli consensus. Our historic role is to stay here and make sure that there's a Palestinian community and we live our uh, culture and our language and our society and, and also advocate for a better future for both sides, not only for the Palestinian side.